Hello Leos, Leo placements, sun, rising, and moon placements. This is for you. I'm going to be doing a tarot reading today. I already have a pre-pull and we're going to be uh, kind of just diving into the energies that have been surrounding your uh, your energy field the last couple weeks, yeah, up into the present moment. So right now what I'm seeing in your first row, we have the Ten of Swords. This is giving me the energy that you are entering Leo season in a new light. Uh, when it comes to the mind, you have lost a lot of different friendships, different uh, family bonds, different bonds that you've had with people recently. So this Ten of Swords is giving me the energy of letting go of, th of things mentally that have been weighing you down. Yeah, so you're in a, a really huge phase of letting uh, things go because people have either betrayed you, come against you, and or could not understand the, the, the light and the, um, the luminescent nature that you have. You're just a radiant person. You're just somebody that is surrounded by light. See, in this card as well, she's surrounded by light. Complete light. There's abundance coming your way. And it's not yellow, but it's yellow and white, meaning that the divine energy is around you at this time. Yeah, so you're being supported by all these birds here representing the mind and how the mind is flexible and how it is so powerful in the aspect of being able to, to use energy and allow it to transmute and change you for the better, even down to a, um, a cellular level, yeah? Ace of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. This is Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. Ace of Pentacles with the Six of Pentacles here right after is giving me more money and, and financial success coming your way if you truly start harmonizing your energies. Uh, when I see the Pentacles, I'm a Capricorn Sun, um, Leo rising and an Aquarius moon, right? So I have a, a very good balance of all the elements in my big three and in my chart in general. So I can assure you that I know when I see this uh, Ace of Pentacles and Six of Pentacles together, there is an energy of aligning your chakras right now. And if you can do that and, and come back to, I use this affirmation all the time, use this affirmation. I always come back to alignment. I always say this affirmation because you do. Things happen, mistakes happen. You go through life and you go through these situations uh, where you hit financial um, opportunities or even you hit financial lows that you learn later. Oh, it was a lesson for me. So that way when I learn, uh, this lesson the next time when i come across it it doesn't hit me in this way financially because i know how to maneuver with this type of energy hence the situation yeah situations are just energy and vibration too yeah so spirit is bringing you literally a gift somebody is or a capricorn taurus or virgo energy a ceo a leader is going to be granting you with knowledge with an opportunity this this is material wealth though this is going to be a, something that that you can hold and this is coming your way quick see you're being gifted this leo so this is leo sagittarius aries energy ace of wands this is where we really start getting into your present energy yeah so now we're coming towards your present energy leo so with this ace of wands every time the ace of wands comes up for me i always get this energy where spirit is granting you with a new gift yeah this is a creative gift or this can be a psychic gift because the third eye is lit up so definitely this create creative gift or this gift coming in see you have the ace of wands and the ace of pentacles here so spirit is giving you something this is this is a uh, capricorn taurus virgo aries um sagittarius and leo energy yeah so this is definitely a very powerful gift coming in powerful energy is coming in for you You've done a lot of healing, Leo. I'm getting with this energy. I could be speaking to a divine feminine because it's a very, very powerful divine feminine uh, picture and energy that I'm gathering, yeah? Spirit lit you on fire in the best way possible. You're done and moving on because there has been a lot of destruction in your path. Uh, people have just been uh, really distracting I'm getting, I'm getting distracting your mind. I'm getting distracting you from, and the wand, Ten of Wands energy also talks about gaining, see we're also in this Ten of Swords, Ten of Wands energy, letting go and moving on, yeah? So the Ten of Wands is Leo energy. I'm starting to get that, that 
this energy is coming from not a betrayal necessarily, but see, she has three three different wands that were that are being shown and the rest are here in her bag, but she lit her own way, right? So it's gonna be three different situations specifically that are lit up still that you've dealt with, or three different people that you've dealt with recently, Leo. Oops, see how that card dropped like that? Because it's a heavy situation that have caused this tower moment. The tower, the tower comes in as the great crumbling, right? Everything crumbles, but you're protected during that time. Spirit says this could have been a lover. This could have been someone that you had a very close relationship, bond, friendship, or um, this could have been definitely a family member, but I'm not getting that much of a family member as much as I'm getting a friend, someone you really trusted who maybe was at work, a co-worker. You didn't have to be really close to them in an aspect, but this could have been someone who, who was very, very, very in close contact with you. Could have not wanted you to gain these see the five of pentacles represents uh feeling distraught over financial matters uh feeling left out in the cold feeling like you don't know how you're going to unlock the door to all the things that you want so with this five of pentacles coming right after the lovers and in between the lovers being in between the tower and the five of pentacles what I'm gathering is that someone who was connected to you did not really want you to receive the blessings that spirit has been trying to gift you with, right? Look, this is literally spirit blessing you. So spirit is, has been asking you to leave people, situations, work, companies you've been with forever because that all this no longer serves you you're in this knight of wands energy we're in your current energy this is leo sagittarius aries energy but we're talking leos today so leo you're in the night energy meaning you are going to be given and we're also going into leo season we're into we're in leo season today actually like as of right now we are so this is very much so a quick energy night energy is quick it's strong, it's youthful, it's in its prime, right? So you you be this is the energy, the Knight of Wands gives me beating to your own drum. You you beat you you have your own heartbeat, yeah? You have your own rhythm, you have your own creativity, you have your own appearance, your own radiance, yeah? And that comes from you just honestly expanding into your authenticity, right? Because your authenticity is your magic. Queen of Swords energy, you could have been contemplating about a person in your life, whether they love you or not, whether they're really there for you like they say they are. This person could be a Pisces, this person could be a Scorpio, and this person could be also a Cancer. Or Spirit could be wanting to bring this person in to help you along this journey of receiving uh, the pentacles that are going to, the, the material wealth that's going to be coming your way. And material wealth can happen and all you can be blessed with a car, you can be blessed with an opportunity, with money. You never know. So spirit is asking you to be very sharp with your mind at this time. Yeah. This is the card of the, uh, a, a woman who's a warrior. Yeah. A divine feminine or divine masculine who's a warrior. This is the queen. This is divine feminine. Yeah. Or you can be a man who, who really resonates with divine feminine energy more than anything vice versa these are energies that we're speaking so this page of cups is a new and young fresh opportunity or an energy in within a person or situation right so with this page of cups i'm actually getting this energy here in the corner corner uh there's a rainbow and there always has been but i'm getting this energy now that there could be a blessing coming in for you due to good karma the Wheel of Fortune represents shifts happening in your reality so that way your karma or your dharma as well could start aligning with what's truly meant for you. And this is also another 10. You have three tens in your reading. So the number 10, the number five, or the number two. 
could be very significant. You could be born on the 10th. You could have had all of this happen within the last 10 days. A lot of this is going to become a lot more uh, current for you in the next 10 days. But the number 10 came up three times. Also equaling the number 30, right? So you could be 30 years old. The Wheel of Fortune is bringing in the energy of all the shifts that have been happening in your life recently, finally aligning and you're aligning. See, remember earlier I was saying that you have to align and that when I see the Six of Pentacles, I imagine harmony and having to create that. And the fact that it these pentacles are colors of different chakras, like the root chakra, sacral chakra, vo uh, throat chakra, you know. And then you got the purple, you see? That's also the, um, the third eye and the um, crown chakra as well. So you are being asked to align yourself at this time. And by aligning yourself, uh, I also had pulled a card for the future, which would be your last card we leave you with, Leo. This is Leo energy. Two of wands. Yes, my cat. <laughs> licking herself. I'll cover her so that way you're not like looking at her licking herself. So this two of wands energy is you could also have a cat. Somebody who is... Ooh. I said somebody like the cat is literally become a human and you know in a lot of ways cats are to me they're they're very much like human beings where we're all honestly beings experiencing each other at the same time right so you could have a cat that's very significant to you at this time just like i do and that could be a part of your healing journey the two of wands is giving me not just two decisions but leaving a decision behind in order to really hold on to and trust in and start practicing having faith in the your your energy to create and your and, and having that faith to create to create a path for yourself and you can travel the world create this path and you know that it's the path that you're meant to create you know that there's a divine purpose for you with this two of wands energy leo i'm gathering that there is something massive coming your way but you are literally being asked to sit still and reminisce over all you've learned. Pick apart what has been your weakness and what has been your strength, right? And the strength card in tarot also represents big Leo energy. So, that's, so that strength that you have, that inner strength from your heart chakra that it beams. That's why I wore, I wore my heart chakra stones today, my aquamarine, and then my uh, rose quartz today. For Leo energy. Leo, you are being gifted something. Something that's going to allow you to be able to travel the world here because she has a globe here. And you are being helped. There's a, f a fire truck here. Yep, in that picture. That's, that's, that's I, I'm assuming she drew that she manifested, right? So you're being helped here to travel the world. Or you could be hearing a lot of fire trucks. I'm going to pull some cards from my Crystal Visions tarot deck. Alrighty, spirit. Alright, I'm getting that you might have a yes or no question, Leo. So ask your question right now. Ask a question to spirit. Spirit, the question that Leo is asking right now... They want to know a clear and direct yes or no answer. Can you give me the guidance to give Leo the correct and intuitive answer that you feel they should know right now? All right, Leo, so to your first question, the answer is no. The answer is they are not, they, they are not for you. Whoever this question is about, whatever this question is about and whoever it's dealing with, or if you think that this is an opportunity that, you, that you're uh, thinking about right now, uh, the answer is no to postpone and to hold on real quick. Let me see. Spirit, anything else about this first question and why they have to hold on real quick? Yes, so Leo, this is Leo energy. Uh, Leo Sagittarius and Aries energy, but we're talking to Leo today. So the Nine of Wands, 
uh, is this energy of a warrior who is protecting themselves at this time. So spirit is saying there is a lot of abundance coming in for you and, and it's going to be channeling straight from your radiance, the way that you just are, the, how beautiful you are, how naturally gifted you, you just come across, right? You're meant, you're meant to be the limelight and to be in the middle of, uh, of, of attention at the end of the day, right? That is just an expression of love and an expression of being that you came into this room to be. But spirit is saying you need to wait on this answer right now. So this is you sitting patiently with your cat. <laughs> like I was saying, sorry about that. And waiting. And spirit is saying if you do that, the answer is... Yes, this new love, this new opportunity, or this new cup being filled will come in. Second question. Leo asked one more question. Spirit, we are being asked one more question right now by Leo. We're being asked one more question by Leo. They want to know a direct message. I'm getting this is a total different question. <laughs> Spirit is like, oh, they asked a total different question. And if you asked a question regarding this one, I wouldn't. I'd use this opportunity with Spirit to ask a different question, yeah? Okay, I see a card wanting to slide out. Spirit says, yes, the justice card comes in as your justice will be served. If this is dealing with, this is Libra energy. So if this is dealing with a court case, if this, she has a scale here too. So Libra is the scale. If this is dealing with balance that you want to come into your life, if you want to enter in a contest, if you feel like there is a certain debate going on that you want to be a part of, if there is um, a sports event that you feel you are worried if you are going, if your team's going to do good or if the team that you are really looking forward to doing well, the answer is they will be doing well. They'll be doing well. Will they win? That's a different story, right? Anything else on this justice card spirit for Leo? Yep, Leo, you're the star, Aquarius energy. You're creating a new way. We are in an Aquarius era now. So this is the era of knowing. So spirit says for this second question, the answer is yes, you are going to absolutely receive what you deserve. Thank you, Leo. Have a great day.